So this afternoon, it's time for number 26 in my best favourite rock records of this year 2023. And it's from a German band and it's also a live record. Which, to be honest with you, when I was putting this little list together, I didn't really think that I'd have any live records in there, but I was wrong. Because this is great and it's well worth hearing. It's Wukan, live at Deutschland Funk, which I believe is a club, obviously somewhere in Germany. <clears throat> now, one of the extraordinary things about this record is it was recorded basically just as the whole sort of COVID thing was coming to an end, but there were still a lot of severe restrictions, particularly in Germany, because of where the politicians are there. Um, and so there were only 40 people in attendance. Now, what does 40 people actually translate to? What's it look like? Well, you know when you're in a small club watching some bands and the support act, you're watching them and there's lots of space around you. Well, that's basically what 40 people looks like. So it must have been extraordinary to be there, especially after all that time locked in people's, you know, locked in your house, and then finally you're allowed to go to a gig. And the band described it as a unique experience. So who are Wukan? Well, as I said, they're a German band. They're from Dresden, of all places. Uh, they <coughs> are female-fronted. Her name is Frances Tobolsky. She plays rhythm guitar, flute, theremin, and obviously sings. So you can see what kind of band they are already. Um, and then you have uh, Tim George on lead guitar, Patrick Drog on bass guitar. I don't know how you pronounce that. And um, the drummer Leo Wiesen, Wassen is the current drummer in a long line of drummers. Um, bit spinal tap there, but you know, the band are anything but spinal tap despite the core of this. Um, been, uh, they're a great band. They're essentially a good, solid hard rock band with lots of flute. They're kind of progressive, but a little bit bluesy, but at their heart, they're essentially a good, solid hard rock band. Obviously because of the flute and the extraordinary nature of the antics that Francis Tobolsky gets up to during a typical performance, there have been comparisons to Jeff Tull a little bit, particularly early 70s Jeff Rotol. Um, obviously they don't do enormous epic suites like that, but on this one there is a very long song, but we'll get to that later. So what is on this one? Well. There are 12 songs. It's a single, but there are 12 songs. It's a single LP. Um, you've got Kill the King, Father Storm, Looking in the Past, which is very good. Then they, they, they have a tendency, this band, to do German songs. All in German. Which is fine. I can't understand a word that's been said, but they're cool. Uh, so I'm not even going to pronounce that. Track 5, Don't Break the Oath. Then you have another German song, Aging Ten Years in Two Seconds. Extraordinary, imagine that. I can't. Ebb and Flute, which is essentially a vehicle for Francis to really show off some flute technique. You know, it ebbs and flows, literally. It goes quiet, loud, quiet. Then you have the rat catch, which was very enjoyable. Night to Fall, a little bit forgettable that one. Far and Beyond, which is my favourite on the whole record. And then it finishes on this, as I said, epic 19 minutes and 25 seconds. Again, it's a German one. 
Van Desman, something like that. Um, I'm pronouncing the W's as V, as a V sound. I'm probably wrong, but hey ho. Um, I'm not from Germany, so what would I know about the German language? Not a lot, but it's good. That Wandersmann is a, it's kind of a, a blues-based epic um, extravaganza. It's 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 really really good. Uh, good vocals again from Francis. She's really good. She's um she's really quite something. If you get a chance to see any videos on here on the old tube, do so because. She's she's great to watch. She can't take her eyes off her. She's a very very good front woman, exceptional. So, <clears throat> if you haven't heard of this band at all, who can? Then you really should. I'm not saying you have to start with a live record, but give them a listen. They're really excellent, and I hope nothing but the best for them because they're very good and very entertaining. Something about her music that always calms me down, makes me feel really relaxed. She's, uh, she's got a great voice, soothing voice, but the music is also soothing. And, but they can be really quite heavy as well. So they're a great band and there's lots of contrast in their music. And I like a band with lots of contrast. So if you haven't heard Wukan, as I say, Check them out, and I think this is a great record. You can almost hear on it the unique circumstances with which this was recorded. You can kind of tell there's not many people about. They said there was about 40, and you can kind of tell on this. So that is my number 26 for the best rock albums of 2023.